Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to talk about some modifications that I'm going to make to this uh, 5F2A Fender Tweed Princeton circuit. And I want to explain them, and then we'll do a little tone test as well. So, first and foremost, um, if you listen to the tone clip that I created, I think you'll hear that it's, uh, especially when I turn the volume up pretty high, and honestly, that's the reason why you buy an amp like this, is because you want to crank up the volume. Um, so, it gets pretty bassy. There's even a, a section in my, in my demo video where it almost sounds like kind of like a gated fuzz, where the amp is really being pushed hard by the humbuckers and it's kind of breaking down a little bit. So, we're going to try to tighten that up a little bit, and uh, we're going to start with a couple of mods. Um, so, to, to, to highlight that, we're going to target this capacitor right here. Now, pull out the, the schematic real quick. I'm looking at the one from Weber. You can look at any of them. We're highlighting this guy right here. This 25 UF, 25 volt capacitor that is uh, located here on this 12AX7 of the input valve. Um, we're going to highlight that one. We're going to try to lower the value. I actually have two capacitors here. Uh, one is a 1 UF 100 volt, and the other is a 10 UF 50 volt. I believe the stock value is 25. So we're going to a smaller number. That means that it's going to cut more bass. Um, and I'm actually considering putting this on a little switch. Um, a little double pull, double throw, or earth, yeah, double pull, double throw switch. So um, you take the, well, first of all, this resistor is going to need to go into this slot by itself. And then I'll have wires come out of each end going into the switch, into the middle. And then in the up position, it's going to select one capacitor, and then down position, it's going to select the other. So uh, that switch should be able to hopefully give me a choice between a couple of different sounds. Uh, in terms of brightness. The next is going to be negative feedback. This is a very, very common and popular modification for this style circuit. Um, so if we look at, uh, we're talking about the wire that goes to the output jack. That's this one right here. Going from this, uh, I believe this is a 22K resistor, going to this location right here on the output jack. Uh, what's happening is the signal is traveling all the way through, going to the output transformer. Output transformer through the 4 ohm tap is sending a signal here. And then actually, it is creating the negative feedback loop, which means the signal is being sent through this red wire back into the circuit. So it kind of acts as a little bit of a limiter. The harder the signal pushes into the output jack, the more of the signal is transferred back into the circuit. And uh, it kind of is is a little bit of a limit or a gate on the on the how how much gain and volume and distortion you can get. So, in theory, removing it will hopefully give us a little bit more gain. Now, I'm also going to probably put that on a switch. Um, again, a this one could be a single pole double throw switch because uh, we really just need to have one end where the switch is connected and that's stock, and then we have another end where it is removed and there's nothing on that end of the circuit at all. Uh, I'm also considering doing a 4 ohm, 8 ohm switch. Uh, you see I've got these leads right here from my output transformer that are just uh, taped up and sitting dormant. Um, if I use this, this stock 4 ohm and then this green 8 ohm on the switch and then it sends the middle common to this location, then I can switch between using this with different cabinets with different ohms. So that'll make it kind of nice because I am using this as a head and not in a combo. Um, and then from there, I think I'm maybe going to uh, see how it sounds. So I'll uh, be back with a tone report here shortly.